you even know how to use a sword? Drop your weapon, now! Very well. I'm not strong enough to use this anyway. There's only one weapon light enough for me to wield. Good. Now don't try anything stupid! Don't stab him! Here, Madame Junior! Over here! Hold it! Dronia, take care of Luca for me! Over here, Madame Dronia! This way! <sighs> Looks like I gave you too much magic. <laughs> I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Control him or something? Hey, get back here! rest a bit. Then we can find Neldo, look for the key, and... <laughs> Welcome, Dronia. You look awful. Trying to ambush us, Funa. <laughs> Don't try to act all tough, Dronia. I can tell you're practically hemorrhaging Mana. You may have escaped the soldiers, but it doesn't change your predicament. Have you forgotten? We have this town surrounded. Now, Lady Luca, as I said before, we no longer need this Dronia puppet. So I ask that you undo the contract. If you refuse, well, then it might be amusing to see what happens if that craftsman's boy gets taken. Fritz? Again? Funa, you... Or, I could let that Juliet bitch get taken instead of... I'll stop, I'll stop. 
Guess you live to see another day, Tronia. Fiona. What are you? Why are you so loyal to Baba? Huh. Ignorant as ever, I see. But since I'm feeling nice, I'll educate your foolish mind. The true purpose of the witches produced by the Ruler Magic Academy is to find the labyrinth that contains the keys. What? But... There are many labyrinths like the one beneath Refrain all over the world. And the keys that we are after? Nobody knows where they are either. So we gain positions within governments around the world, gather intelligence about local labyrinths, and explore them. I assume Valnya knew that as well. Huh? But all you've done so far is just follow us around. Yes, well... My mission was to observe Lady Luca and her Dronia puppet for any irregularities. I see. So you've been watching us from the start. Yes. I work so hard to beat out the competition at the Academy, just to end up an observer. So frustrating. Ah, but I also learned a great deal by observing the unclean ones that roam this town. And now... I know how to do something very interesting. What if I told you I knew how to take a person's fate and scatter it like dust in the wind? You figured out how to make the unclean ones get rid of anyone who got too close to us. Fritz! Did you really use the unclean ones, Fiona? <laughs> That's right. I was so bored. So dreadfully bored. <laughs> day after day, all by myself, doing nothing but observing. While you both were out having fun with this town's vermin, all I could do was watch like a useless idiot. I just wanted to have fun. That's why I played with them. Oh, you've played with bugs before, right, Lady Luca? You know how fun it is to rip off their legs and wings? What I did is the exact same thing. No, it's not. I've never done that. And humans aren't bugs. They're totally different. Huh? What are you talking about, Lady Luca? Humans are vermin in the eyes of a witch. Say any more then. Unfortunately, I don't stand a chance against you, so I'll let the other witches take care of Dronia's disposal. However, please don't forget that you are surrounded by enemies and have nowhere to run. If you'll excuse me, I shall take my leave. Goodbye, Dronia. I doubt we'll ever see each other again. Now I just need my new orders from Madame Baba Yaga. <laughs> You think Baba is still alive, Fiona? I got rid of her days ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you trying to trick me? she your enemy? Besides, I saw this exact same witch on top of the vault surrounding this town. You mean... another Funa puppet? I knew it! Madame Drunia! Maybe the other witches never came... Maybe they're all Funa puppets! But I don't think those other puppets will come after us. Why is that? Those other Funa puppets should already know that I defied Madame Baba. And now they all know they can't beat me either. Fiona Pop, then I'm... I'm also a puppet, Luca? <laughs> I 
guess even bad memories can still evoke nostalgia. I can't believe Baba sent a summons for me to come all this way. If she thinks it's a short trip from the kingdom to here, then she has no idea what it's like to be a court witch. Still, why did she say I have to visit Isara now? And, and what the hell am I even supposed to say to her? Madame Belnia! <coughs> you actually came! Ugh, this asshole. Step aside. I didn't come to visit you. <laughs> Still as blunt as ever. Once I see Isara, I'll be on my way. Papa! Isara's daughter? She doesn't even look like her. She looks like her father. Didn't I tell you to wait inside, Luca? passed away. What? Her health took a turn for the worse after Luca was born, but she wrote to you every day, up until one year ago. <gasps> one year ago? M Madame Velnia! Isara... Isara is... dead? She's been dead for a year? Isara is dead. Because of you. You did this to her. Pardon me, Duskwitch Felmia. Yes? A letter has arrived for you. Thank you. The letter said you were really sick. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't come unless she wrote that. This has been a waste of my time. I'm leaving. But I am very sick. I don't have much time left. When... when I die... Please take care of Luca. I, I can't leave her with Baba Yaga. What? How dare you ask that of me? I don't know what Isara told you about me, but I'm not that kind of person! <coughs> and... one other request. Are you listening to me? Did you really make me come all this way just to receive your last will and testament? I'm under no obligation to listen to anything you have to say. <laughs> <coughs> you truly are a student of Baba Yaga. Does that mean you know how to cast spells known only to her? Hmm. Depends on the spell. Then, please hear my request. I can do that, but you'll lose all your memories in the process. While there is a spell that can transfer memories, it is beyond the grasp of most witches. Even I'm not skilled enough to wield that kind of magic. That's fine. I just want to stay by Luca's side for as long as I can. Until she can be of use to you someday. It's... What Isara would want. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so afraid to die. I can say I'm doing this for my wife and daughter, but I'm just weak. Crying won't move me. I'm under no obligation to help you, remember? 
My wife was right about you. She told me that you... If Mama could do it, then I can do it too! I can! I can! Just watch, Auntie Velnia! I'll make the jump! Wait! Don't jump! It's too far for you! Dead because of your selfishness. Your mama, who birthed you, is dead. Your papa is dead too. You will bear the burden of this sin for the rest of your life. Alone. Worry not, child. There is one path available to you. You must awaken your power as a witch. Becoming a witch would normally require years of training. But you have inherited the great power of the soul witch from your mother. He use the See your precious auntie again, yes. Then you must put her soul into this doll, or be alone forever. Do I sense hesitation? You are of Isara's blood. Binding Velma's soul to this doll should be a trivial task for you. Oh, but she will need a new name. Velma simply will not do. No. How about Tusk Witch? Dronia. A fitting name for one caught in the twilight of life and death. <laughs> I'm just another doll. No different from the puppet soldiers, eh? I think Tracti would appreciate the irony. Luca, am I like Funa? Are there other Dronia puppets besides me? No, Madame Dronia. You're the only one. Mama's doll was the only one that worked. I'm sorry, Madame Dronia. I'm a bad kid. I'm a bad kid. I'm really... I'm really sorry. Luca, look at me. It's okay. I was dead long before the fall that took my life. But as long as I'm alive... No. As long as I can move, I still have a chance. Luca, can you give me some of your magic? Just enough to keep me moving. Okay. Were you infusing me with magic every night while I was asleep? Yeah, but some nights I couldn't. And then the next day, 
You look really sick. <laughs> oh. I see. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Luca. What's done is done. Madame Duranya, that witch was holding this. The, the key? <laughs> so she had it all along. I didn't expect Baba to be so trusting. But now, we just need one more. We can still do it, Luca. With two keys, we can probably conduct the ritual, but I don't know what might happen. We'll just have to trust Tracti. Let's head back to the caravan. You want to go back? No. We need to go back. This is our final gamble. I knew it. A soldier standing guard. Luca! You're all right. I am so relieved. <laughs> You're a hard one to kill. <laughs> right back at you. If the soldiers find us here, we're done for. There'll be no escape. But with the unclean ones roaming the streets, there aren't that many soldiers. We have until sunrise, if we're lucky. You understand, right, Tracti? Find the third key. If you can't, though, we'll just proceed with the two we have. The last key might be in Campanula. In hindsight, all the places we thought had keys turned out to be dead ends. Call it a witch's intuition, but my money's on Campanula. We'll wait for you to find it as long as we can. I have faith in you, Tracti. Good luck. Excellent! Yes! Nice work, Tracti! All right, now we have all three. There's no time for the reckoning, though. We need to move fast and... Hey, open up! We know you're in there! Madame Dronya, the soldiers have found us. Now what, Dronya? 
If you're gonna get yourself killed, at least leave Luca out of it. Can't you just glamour them? Not with my current magic. Besides, Fiona probably has them warded against my glamour. Yeah, you're useless. I'll just get Luca out of town by myself then. No, I'm staying with Ned and Joni till the very end. L Luca, listen to me. There's nothing you can... No, let's do the ritual right here. We have no idea what will happen, but at this point, we have no choice. But, but, what if someone interrupts us? I don't know. We'll deal with it when it happens. I understand. Luca, for your sake, I'll buy you some time. Please be quick. Marietta, you should leave too. I don't know what will happen if a resident of this purgatory crosses over with us. Even if the soldiers capture you, they might decide to let you go since you're from this town. No, I'm not from Refrain. I too am a living person. You really have forgotten me. I see. So, we once knew each other. Hey! Hit the battering ram! We're gonna break down these doors! Dronia, I don't know how much time I can buy you, so hurry it up already! Th thanks, Nildy! Right. Luca, you understand what I'm about to do, right? I'm going to resurrect your mother. That's what I've been working toward. You knew that, didn't you? You can wait here, if you want. Got it. Then let's go together. O oh, eternal coffin of stone, fixed reminder of the boundary between life, open thine lid, and awaken the chosen soul from its dark slumber. For we demand an audience with her. By the power invested in the three keys, open the way to the viewing chamber! We've arrived! It's dark in here, Madame Dronia. Please, give me your hand. Yes. Luca, stay by my side. Soon, you will meet your mother. My mama is... I do love my mama, but... I don't really remember her. Yes, well, now you can reunite with her and make new memories together. That's not it! That's not it at all. I... I want... I want you to resurrect Auntie Velnia! And I want you to have a real body again! And then, and then, you might be able to heal your leg! I don't care about my leg. I don't mind my condition, Luca. Isara is your mother. You're going to see her very soon. Be happy. A staircase. Please be careful. Yeah. Let's make our way down. You can lean on me, Madame Dronia. I'm fine. Actually, I think I will take you up on that offer. Sorry, Marietta. It's okay. Madame Dronia, may I confess something to you? <laughs> I thought listening to people's confessions was your job, not mine. But if it'll make you feel better, I'll listen. Thank you. I'm the one who stole the Tractatus de Monstrum from the caravan and burned it. I somehow knew you were gathering the keys and I think I wanted to put a stop to it. I know it's silly, but I thought if I got rid of that thing and if you could somehow forget about the labyrinth, then maybe you and I could have a future together. You probably don't feel the same, but 
I've had feelings for you ever since we were girls. I know this violates my vows, but please, I must say this, Adondronia. I love you. You're beautiful. You're dignified. You value freedom above all else. Ever since you held my hand, I... Uh, when my brothers died. Don't cry, Marietta. I'm not as great as you think. Besides, I do remember some of our past together. Hearing confessions may be your job, but apparently I'm pretty good at it myself. Who knew? <laughs> Don't worry. I swear on my name, Dusk Witch Dronia. That what you told me stays between us. I can't return your feelings. But please accept my gratitude for loving me. Thank you, Mary. I... There's just... One more thing. There's one more thing I need to tell you. Madam Junior, you can see the bottom! Where are we? This must be the viewing chamber. Is that... That coffin is just a projection. It doesn't exist in reality. Is this... Where all wishes are created? No. Who's there? Isara! Is that you? Uh, Velnia, you've grown up. You're beautiful. I Isara, where are you? Can you see me? See you. Ah, yes, that's right. It feels like it's been a long time. This place is, oh, that's right. I died. Then, is this the viewing chamber? Which means, you did it. You conquered the labyrinth of refrain. Congratulations, Velnia. Yes, that's right. Thanks to the hints, you left me. I was too bedridden to leave you more than a couple of hints. In the end, all I could tell you was to use the Tractatus de Monstrum in the keys. Is that... Luca? I finally see your face. You look like... Yes, you look like your father. Now come... What's wrong? Are you so used to Auntie Velnia that you've forgotten about me? You... are not Mama! What are you saying? You don't recognize your own mother? You're not her! You're not her! Hmm... You've trained her well, Velnia. You have all the things I could never have. Huh? What are you talking about, Isara? Uh, never mind. We can't stay here too long. Rise, Isara. Rise and return to the surface with us. Yes, Velnia. Have you become a court witch? Oh, how I envy you. You can travel anywhere you want. You can fall in love instead of being forced into marriage. You don't have to defile yourself and give birth to a child you never wanted. Filthy water and putrid decay surrounds me, pulling me, consuming me, rotting me from within. What's gotten into you, Isara? Your freedom is at the top of these stairs. Let's go home, together. Home? You mean back to Baba? Baba is gone. If you don't want to go home, we can go somewhere far from here. I'll even quit being a court witch. All that matters is that you're back. You've been resurrected, Isara. <laughs> resurrected? Velnia, what do you think life is that you can say that word so thoughtlessly? I hear the whispers of the dead. 
They share their hatred with me. Shall I share it with you too? Not one person has ever truly been resurrected. No. There was one person who emerged. They then underwent a trial. A trial that they failed. A trial that everyone failed. Do you know what that means? The laws of nature are absolute. What is dead can never rise. Do you get it now? There are no second chances. It's all an illusion. Let them drown you. Something's wrong. This is... This isn't like you, Isara. Now, let's go home. Not like me? Do not patronize me. You still hate me. Because I couldn't run away with you. Is that it? That's why you suddenly vanished from my life. And I wrote you so many letters! Hundreds of them! Th that's not... You think you're better than me? Because I did all the dirty work? After I killed Klaus, what did you do? You curled up in your bed and cried. Didn't I tell you to kill Mary too? Yet there she is, at your side. And now here we are. If she hadn't interfered... We would have gotten away! You always waited for me to do the dirty work! You shoved it all on me! I... I made you suffer. Is that what you're saying? Look at me. Look at me! <gasps> you opened the coffin without collecting all three keys. I... <laughs> I can never be resurrected! I can never rest in peace! Nor can I ever walk among the living! <gasps> I Isara! What am I supposed to do now? What are you going to do about this? Apologize to me, Velnia! I... I, I didn't think this would happen! Bullsh... I Isara! Apo I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Isara. Apologize! Apologize! More! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wronged you. I'm sorry. I sinned. Ah! Madame Dronya!
<laughs> I did not expect you to have that. <laughs> Marietta! Baba, my grandmother is possessing me. Luca, Tronia, you need to run! <laughs> King's blood is thicker than I expected. Makes it harder to exert control. B Baba! Run! <laughs> Both of you! <laughs> now, as for you... It was quite a risk to rely on such incompetent apprentices. But in the end, I got what I was at. It's you. The ancient witch who crossed the labyrinth. The true author of the Tractatus de Monstrum. The witch who traveled across numerous worlds, possessing new bodies along the way. You're... Calamity Witch Furia! Furia? That's a name I've not heard for a long time. A name spoken only in hushed whispers across countless worlds. Now then, let's get this over with. Performing the ritual without all three real keys will corrupt the end result. After you killed Isara just now, I tried to take Luca's body. Fortunately, I was still able to make use of Isara's body. <laughs> Controlling Mary was difficult for me. But controlling Isara is no trouble, as she and I are not blood-related. I, Calamity Witch Furia, have waited 1,000 years to possess the body of the most talented witch in all of Tanis. Time to feast! Is this...? No. It can't be! Velcarana? That's... Velcarana? The people in the labyrinth told Tracti about that thing. She's attempting to go to the surface. Baba Yaga, have you been waiting for this moment for hundreds of years? The Witch Academy, crossing those worlds, writing the Tractatus de Monstrum. Was it all for this? It hasn't fully matured yet. Hey, don't push yourself! I can't let my grandmother escape. <laughs> well, Kuvrona is immortal, undying. It, it can even travel between worlds. Don't know me what. If it reaches the surface and consumes the town, it will become unstoppable. The town is just a meal for them. Well, Kuvrona hatches. Single souls of my brain will nourish the Kuvrana and allow it to reach its full power. Oh, the wrong. Luca, I'm sorry. I know Baba was inside me, but I didn't say anything. I. 
Luca, only you two will be returning. I'm not able to go back. <gasps> Madame Junia? Because I am already dead, I must undergo a trial. I can't see the top of the stairs at all. And as long as this gate remains open, the dead could pour out of it. Luca. I tried to resurrect Isara. This is my fault. My sin. What's done is done, and can never be undone. I can keep the dead at bay. Remember, I'm not human anymore. And this place is rife with magic. This is my sin to bear. Luca, you must return to the surface and bring back the keys. Without the keys, we can't close the gate. I'll wait for you here. There's enough mana in this place for me to erect a powerful war. No! no I can't leave you! Go, Luca! You're stronger than me now, so I won't tell you to run. You're going to defeat that thing and come back. I believe in you! Now go! That's an order! Yes! I'll come back for you! I promise I'll come back! It didn't work. Is the calamity going to repeat itself all over again? What's the use of fighting back against the soldiers? What was the point of me even? Luca. I'm so. Belkurana <laughs> is responsible for this. We must stop it at once. Mariana, is your wound okay? Yes. It still hurts to move. Thanks to you, the bleeding has finally stopped. Now we can... Wait, what has happened to the residents? way I've been waiting for you you know at the same time I was also praying you wouldn't come this way I should have known you would end up here eventually hey this is our first time meeting each other face to cover isn't it I am the great witch Mezaluka Alma you know who I am, don't you? That's right, I'm Luca. And this is the future of your world. A world full of despair. <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? Refrain has been gone for a long time, and the world is falling apart. And it keeps getting worse and worse. The calamity which possessed my mother to become Belkavrana, and it has fully matured. It's unstoppable now. If you're here, that means Belkarana has hatched, and my past self has lost control of her time magic. That's why your soul has been sent to me in the future. Because she tried to use her time magic in that unstable environment. This is the end of the world. Belkarana wasn't supposed to hatch. In this future, my allies and I intend to face Belkarana in a final battle. But I can't even defeat a Dronia Poppet, let alone Belkavrana. Just as I thought. We don't have much time left, but we still have a slim chance. So I'm going to explain the situation to you. Listen carefully. In the shattered future, 
I gain the ability to interfere with time, and I use that ability to set up a gambit in the past. Though this power doesn't allow material objects to be sent back in time, it was the only chance I had. So I sent back three different souls. Neldo was the first. His soul was easy to send to the past because he's not from this world to begin with. In your world, his soul resided in an owl. Since it was closest to his original form, he was able to transform into a human, too. He basically acted as your combat support. He was searching for something that was most likely destroyed in this future. The other soul was Newton's. Or Newt, as you know him. He was a special case, as I was able to put his soul in his original body. For reasons unknown, he was already present at Refrain in the past. He is a great sage, and a powerful magic user. Once Neldo found what he was after, Newton's role was to send it to the future. But he knew Baba would detect his magic if he used it, so he sealed his memories away and assumed a new identity. And finally, the last soul was you, Tracti. Within the dusk of Tannis, I chose a random wandering soul to send back to the past. And that soul was you. Do you get it now? Despite the low chance of success, everyone agreed to risk their lives. In a way, it's like the opposite of despair. Time waits for no one. Not even me. <laughs> Ironic, huh? When we're done here, I'll proceed to the final battle. Which I'll probably lose, and this world will end. As I said, you cannot allow Valkyrana to achieve its full power. If you do, you have no chance of defeating it. Refrain is just a meal to Valkyrana. If it eats it, it will mature to full power. If that happens, this future will become your future. I don't know which choice was the right one. I just know this outcome was inevitable regardless. Because what Neldo, Newton, and I have all been searching for is you. Yes, we spent many years searching for the name that can defeat Valkyrana, and it turned out to be yours. Maybe I should have summoned you here from the start. Maybe that was impossible for me to do. But I never considered having your soul sent here, because I knew you had Madame Dronia with you. With Newton, Neldo, and the others we sent back, in spite of the danger, you guys can still win. I can't interfere that much longer. I'm glad I got to talk to you at the end. Take care of Madame Dronia. She's very lonely and gets sad easily. But I want her to live, even if Neldo hates her. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing. As impossible as it sounds, as long as the newly hatched Velcavrana doesn't reach full maturity, you still have a chance. So I'll take a chance on you. I'll take a chance on your soul. One last thing. Even if you save the past, it won't change this future. It'll just create a future that wasn't ruined. You might think this is all for nothing, but I just want to save the past because I won't forgive myself if I don't. <laughs> And, and if I die, I can't just move back time like I did when I was a kid. Because my death will cause all the recurring versions of the past to disappear. And there will be no way to undo it. It might seem strange for me to say this, but please take care of Luca. She could not be more different from me. I want her to stay pure of heart when she goes up, instead of becoming selfish like me. Well, I must get going. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Before I send you back, I need to write something inside of you. This spell will protect you from Refrain's increasingly unstable reality. Now. now go. Please save the past. Goodbye, Tracti. Tracti, where did you go? Thank goodness you're safe. Time wouldn't go back, and then you disappeared, Tracti. I was worried, really worried. Luca, check Tracti's memories. It might have documented new information while it was gone.
Luca, Yoko Vana may be newly born, but now that it's hatched, there's nothing we can do. This place is... I'm gonna beat it. L Luca...